Hey guys, welcome back to our third video in the um, Enforcer Career Agent playthrough. Um, now, if you missed the last video, the last video was all about traveling to Jeter and fitting out our new Merlin ship. Um, so if you missed it, I would go back and watch uh, the second video. If I can manage to figure out how to create a link or what have you, I will link it somewhere in the screen or I'll provide a link to it in the end cards or in the comments. Uh, but otherwise, you can just go back and watch uh, that video. Um, anyway, we left there because we couldn't find any decent uh, priced small field extenders for our shields they were at the time three million was the cheapest one that was available in the station um, now so i did f show you how to find using a third party website uh, the location of cheaper components or anything you want to buy to be honest so i went and bought three of those uh, originally my idea was to come back and put put maybe two of them for sale uh, on the market but since I've been away someone has come and put on some on the market that are cheaper quite a lot actually because um, that those are the cheapest ones that were available before um, so now all these have appeared but I still managed to save you know, I still paid us, you know, 60,000 for each less than that. So I'm going to actually put my three on this ship. I did do a build before, which included these to increase damage and increase the optimal range. You know, but they're, that's worth a million on the market. Five hundred K and that one's a million. And for the damage that we get, let's just have a look at it. That was the uh it's only four hate for it four DPS, you know, so I'm not paying a million quid for DPS. So I've changed my mind on those. I'm just gonna fit three of these instead let's see what it gives us it gives us like i say a slight signature radius penalty but not much that's still kind of small and it gives us eight and a half thousand ehp so we're going to save this down as moon alpha one s just so i know that I really went all out on the shields and save that. So now I've got my two variations saved under my holds and fits. So we'll exit the simulator. Here's my cargo hold with my three core defense rigs in it. And you'll notice that when I try and put it in here, it will give me a warning that unlike modules, if you fit rigs, you can only remove it by destroying it. So it'll make sure I really want to fit them. So let's put them on. There we go. Joy rig ship. The only way to remove this rig is by destroying it. Yeah, that's okay. We know that. There you go. That's gone up for 400. It's gone up another 400. And it's gone up another for 500 so that's our ship fit for the rest of the enforcer missions let's just simulate it see what it looks like so you'll see all the it'll simulate as if all the rigs are on uh, and it'll tell us what resistance we've got what health we've got 
you know, etc. So let's simulate it. There you go. Eight and a half thousand, 77 explosive, 73 kinetic, 63 thermal, even 54 on a shield. And we're getting 10 health points a second, you know, regeneration, passive regeneration. And this is all brand new alpha skills. You know, I've, I've, I've only, it's only second time we've been logged in on this character. Uh, so this sort of fit is feasible for any of you guys flying the, uh, what is it? The Merlin that you've just been given on the enforcer. So that's a, uh, it's slightly different than the fit that um, CCP suggest, um, which I think if we go on this one, you know, we can claim all this. So we've got a whole bunch more load of money as well. So we can claim all those. Um, but I wanted to see. The training, that's oh, in here. I always, I always forget this, don't I? Skill plan, enforcer. We want to say, let's have a look at what they're. What they were suggesting. Our oh, same, same three. Oh, they're doing purges. They're going for shield. They're going for shield uh, regeneration. Oh, they've got similar to us they've got that they've got that in place of a damage control so they've got slightly more because they've changed their guns so they've actually got different guns they've upgraded the guns which i didn't do but we could easily do that at some point um but it's negligible it's only five dps uh extra their resistances are lower than mine they've only got 5000 ehp as opposed to my eight and a half thousand um price wise 1.7 million uh, what what did i have as a price Oh, can we see my simulation? No, I don't think you can have two simulations open at the same time. 1.7 million, yeah. Let's close that. What was the price on mine? This is what we've got fit. Oh, look at that. One point. So there, there's cost an extra 400,000 than mine and i suspect it's because their guns are more expensive than what i fit you know um but you know this is a perfectly good fit we could easily upgrade those guns uh when we want to you know but we don't need to at the moment so uh that's it we're ready to rock and roll we'll go back to our career agent which was this one let's set destination uh, and we will turn the sound back on Turn those those sounds back on. Actually, and before we leave, there's something else I think you should see this. People asking you to duel, you know, especially when you're around Jita, you get spammed with people saying, "Oh, duel me, duel me." They usually like fit out with ships that can destroy yours. Don't do it. Switch it off. And even if if they try and send you a, a duel request. You won't even see it, it'll just get automatically rejected. So there we go. Let's undock. We've already got our pathway back to the career agent set. So uh, 
Let's get there. Jump! Don't waste time outside Jeta because it's full of, you know, people being, you know, people are ganky just for fun there. Just get yourself, just get yourself gone as fast as possible. Don't hang around outside Jeta. and stay away from Jeter as much as possible uh, but as a Kaldari it's the we're so close to it and as we're making a video and we wanted to kick this out it was just the easiest place to get to but I'm usually quite happy to pay a little bit more to stay away from Jeter but that's not to say that you always get the best prices in Jita anyway. So the other trade hubs are... The Dixie is the trade hub in Galente space Amar is the trade hub in Amar space but I'm not quite sure what the name of the uh, trade hub is in Mimitar space I think there's actually two that are of similar size um, for some reason but that's just the way it is so if you're in those if you're in Galenti space the Dixie is your kind of centralised trade hub and Amar is your trade hub in Amar and as you say you'll just have to find out for yourselves which is the trade hub in Mimitar I've never played a Mimitar so I haven't got a clue. And as you say, as I showed you, Eve Tycoon before, you know, you can always use that to search for things that you want anyway. So we're here, I think we were on 5 of 10. I think that's where we're picking this up. Mission 5 of 10 and then that should be the Enforcer done uh, all these people getting shot or fighting each other or no idea what, what's going on up there but you get that you always get stuff like that outside these trade these uh teaching hubs and you know and cheetah especially no idea why right let's go for this let's accept it I'm not really bothered about that you know their implants they go into your character your actual character in implants implant slots um, they will increase attributes um, or various other things so that they'll give you a bonus to training or you know something else look someone's people are shooting find each other no idea yeah look so yeah I honestly don't know what that's what's happening, but I'm not interested. Unless they're doing the air career, career 
there is a there is some in the air air career program you get you get some points for having a duel um, but not in a shuttle right so this is called an activation gate you get these in like missions and other anomalies and escalations and stuff like that you have to activate the gate and for the gate to be active you have to be I think within it only activates within two and a half thousand uh, meters there you go now I'm gonna if you right click you can reload I'm gonna put iron charges in because they're our longest range ammunition intruders don't let them get away yeah that's fine so as you can see looks like the next acceleration gate is guarded you'll have to take care of the guards before you can get through right that's fine so let's put these at the distance we want we can lock that guy we can lock that guy we can lock that guy and lock that guy because if you remember we had a 55 kilometer locking range now this one is we should be able, we might be able to hit him probably not because he's very small um, but I reckon we now change our optimal range to about 9,000 so if we right click on that and set that to 9,000 and do the same for that Now we'll turn these on and we shouldn't get hardly any let's get away from this guy we'll go and orbit that guy instead let's get away from here put some distance between us because we've got long range there we go he's in the range of our long range air guns now so let's blap him There we go, let's uh, do that one next because he's at a distance. Let's track him as well. Oh, he's already tracked, so that's good. Let's uh, turn those on, he's now in range. Right, let's orbit this guy at 9000. Let's track him. Let's open fire. Orbit this guy. We can open fire ready. Look at these we've got. Let's lock these up. Let's orbit. The reason we're staying at range is because, as before, we saw them using like. We're just absolutely black. We're absolutely blapping these now without problems. Nope, oh, we're a bit far away. It's not what I wanted. Let's keep it range. See, we're missing. We we're getting too far away. should start hitting him now yeah there we go smashing right I think what I want is to go in hold down left mouse button go open the cargo these guys can chase me I don't care let's go get this cargo first well not this cargo but this uh, this loot keep getting messages off people but let's loot that 
Let's do the same here. And that one as well. Oh, we can shoot this while we're, while we're here because it's within range. We'll shoot that one as well. Let's just loot that while we're here. Let's loot it. 70 grand. We can open that one. Loot that one. Open cargo, loot that one. And we just got this last guy. Let's open him at that. Let's open fire. And there you go. Oh, we can loot him as well. Smashing. Right, let's head towards this acceleration gate. As you can see, we've got all our modules running, but we're still capacitor stable. We took virtually no damage through any of that because we've got, you know, such good uh, resistances. Look at that. We're bouncing off this. Is it? Is it? You can double click in space, so you can hold Q and you can get a little thing to fly in a different direction. So this is just get me away from this bloody thing. Now I can approach that. Without bouncing off stuff. He's gone. What's this crap? Oh yeah. That's a spammer trying to get me to get me a million training points. Uh, the spam all new players, it's it's legitimate, but you can do it yourself. There you go, see. Looks like you found a pirate outpost, your instructions were to destroy it. Would recommend leaving the loot in the wreck after you would obliterate the structure. You would not want to be caught trying to jump between systems with contraband in your cargo hold. The local security forces do not look kindly upon such activity. Well, we'll see what's in there. Right, we've got to destroy this, let's look at it. There it is. I think we can hit it from here without even getting closer to it. Yeah, we can, so let's just lock it up and shoot it. Oh, it, that's generated a load of uh, These guys aren't even doing any damage. Let's lock these up anyway. For after we kill this thing. These are getting closer, let's just blow these up while we're there. Uh... Alright, we can go back to shooting him now. Now it 
says we've uh, done the mission. So let's just go and open that cargo. I'm not going to bother shooting them because I don't think it gets you anything. They're not doing any damage to me anyway, so we can just leave them here. Loot. Is that all I'm getting? It's garbage, isn't it? Right, let's dock. Drive As you can see, the uh, the benefits of having this fit. We're now there's probably nothing now in this Enforcers mission that can even worry us. Mission requested. Docking request accepted. Start conversation. Complete mission. That's great. Let's request another mission. Gonna get one small shield booster. It's fine, I'm not gonna use it. I'm not doing active shield. But I'll have it. And yeah, that's more important. Let's get the money back we spent on this ship. I didn't read the mission. I'm sorry about that, ch chaps, but to be honest, you don't need to read the mission. Now yeah, look at look at these here. Well, look what a cat dragged in. Come to avenge these pathetic civilians we butchered. I'd like to see you try. There's the scan that destroyed our base. Get them alive if possible. I'd like to have a word with them in person. Get them. Okay. Let's lock these bad boys up. Control. Control. Left click. Let's put these on. Let's put that on. Let's do keep it range. Let's track as well. He's within range now, so there we go. Well, that was easy. Keep at range. Let's shoot him and lock all these up while we're here. Keep at range. Let's track him. Oh, let's shoot that one, he's in range. There we go. Let's shoot him now, he's in range. in range tell you what we will do we'll swap ammo Let's just turn it off right click swap to antimatter as soon as that goes round it loads pretty quickly now we'll just be able to black them faster because we've got yeah within 3000 is at optimal range If we did, weren't so tanky, our plan could be orbit at a greater distance and our missiles might not hit us. But they're not all missile fit anyway. Let's lock up the ones we haven't got locked up. Let's shoot that guy. Thousand, but whatever, 
it doesn't matter. It's dead anyway. Let's use that. Oops, use that to do. There we go. Oh, we're missing him a bit. So let's keep it range this time. There we go. Get rid of our transversal. Fantastic. Is that it? Nothing to loot. That's a shame. Let's dock up. Warp drive active. Docking request accepted. Start conversation. Let's get our whatever it is, 400k, 500k almost. He escaped again. Well, fine work against his compatriots at any rate. Overdrive. That just makes your uh, ship go faster, but it goes in a low slot and it takes up cargo space. I don't need to go any faster, I'm already fast enough. So I'm only interested really in this 500,000. Uh, they go in the cargo bay, I'll never use them, probably. Flight the hotel, your agent mentioned and retrieve the VIPs. If something is amiss, then report back to your agent with the details. Right. Let's undock. I keep forgetting to read the read the missions now. I do apologise, but when you guys are playing through, you can read the missions. I'm just here to teach teach you things that the game won't teach you and help you get through it better uh, I've read the story before so yeah this one I detect no life signs in the habitation model module and the communication services in the adjacent security tower seem to be down I su suggest approaching Hotel Kim to have a better look its hull appears to be damaged. A cloud of radioactive gas is flowing through the cracks and filling the void surrounding the structure. Corpses floating around the inn are, more, are likely of people who are ejected through the airlock. Make sure you have large collidable structures under the entity group selected in the overview settings. You can easily find the structure pointed out. Yeah, it's already there. Look, Hotel Kim. We're in North Korea. We're going to Kim Jong-un's palace. And it looks like it's full of radiation and dead people. So that sounds probably about right. If North Korea is as the media suggests. But if anyone's been to North Korea and stayed in whatever that one hotel is that they do allow foreign guests in. Let me know what it's like. You know, put it in the comments. Let us all know. It's a trap. Sm a smart bomb notched into the hull of of Le Fleur in sent out a blast wave that has damaged your ship. You should have this leave this area immediately. Well, it did seven percent damage. Let's shoot these guys because. Uh, Maybe I'll get some. Let's put our iron charges in. Let's orbit at 9k. Mouse locked up there for a minute. 
He's in range. Let's shoot him. Oh, he's firing missiles at us, do you notice? But see what I said about if we stay at range, he can't hit us. So that was the strategy uh, I mentioned before. His missiles have only got a range of about 5k, I think. So he won't even hit us once. And that's why I brought along long range ammunition. This guy might hit us, so let's keep him at range at 9,000. And let's shoot him. Because again, if he's got missiles, yeah, as you can see how they, they, they go, that we can look at them. And you'll see him la launching his missiles. There he is launching his missiles. But they're not hitting us because he just can't get in range. So that's a tactic that you can use. And again, we'll keep this guy at range at nine. Because he's again fight using missiles. And look at him. You can see him shooting his missiles. There they go, but as you say, no, no damage, he's not hitting us, he's nowhere near to hitting us. Let's uh, open fire and we can watch our incoming damage. That's, that's us over there, see? Only damage is me hitting him, nothing. Nothing from him is reaching us. I was hoping for some loot, that's where I killed them, but looks like we're not getting any loot, that's a shame. Did we get loot? No, no loot. Well at least we get we might get bounty for killing them. Let's dock up. Warp drive active. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. Right, let's start conversation. Let's get our half a million and complete the mission. Now what I keep forgetting to do is let's stack all that. Let's sell it. Let's move it into our item hangar. Stack all and sell. Yeah, let's sell that. It's only 5k, but I've no use for it. What else have we got in here that we don't need to be carrying? Don't need to be carrying any of this stuff, so we'll stick that in our item hanger. Um, I'll leave these other small, just you know, in case we run out of ammo. We got anything else? Yeah, we'll stick those in there as well, eh? Let's just stack everything. There we go. Got plenty of ammo anyway. 